so, so maybe we'll continue on that topic. Sure. Thinking about this movie after seeing it, and you did a lot of research into it, your character is kind of skeptical about how AI is all going to go. Yeah. Learning everything that you learned preparing for this, what, what, how do you see it playing itself out when it event inevitably I know, does? I mean, I'm, uh, I'm simply far too blonde and stupid <laughs> to be the person to ask that question of. Um, but uh, my research, you know, uh, I, I humbly suggest in the research that I have done that we, it, it is absolutely inevitable and that our lives are uh, have always been on a collision course with machinery and it'll just it's going to continue I mean computers are growing in power exponentially and every year there is twice the power computer power in the world that there was in the year before when Kasparov lost you know, beat the uh, computer at chess, he laughed, and the next year he lost. I'm intrigued by this this Caltech thing, yeah. where, the, where the guy told you it'd be 30 years before this happens, which which is what Ray Kurzweil writes about as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I'm not a science guy, so I wanted <laughs> you to just ask, play one in the movies. I just exactly, and you know, and I, I the reason I went was so that I didn't just you know kind of do this a lot and you know this um, and you know whatever. So very good acting job. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> So I I went to to you know to ask him what is the you know what is the what, you know, how far fetched is this story and he said thirty years and I said wait that you were talking about uploading a human consciousness into a computer with all of its thoughts its emotions its feet you know its 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 history and in 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 infinitesimal detail and he said yes I went but that's immortality and he went yes now that was not a kook, you know, that's one of the foremost neuroscientists in the world telling me that it's inevitable. I gotta let you go, but we do something called five questions. Oh. Five quick questions, one word answers. Oh God. Script or improv? Script. Stage or screen? Screen. Lennon or McCartney? Lennon. I knew you'd say that one. Hitchcock or Kubrick? Oh, that is tough. Kubrick. In one word, Transcendence. Shocking. Oh, that's a good one. So the Lennon or McCartney thing, yeah. just because you said there are two types of people, I think I read that quote, there are two mm. types of people, there's the Lennon people and the McCartney people. Mm. You want to explain that? Well, you know, AM1, as you get older, you uh, become less definitive about all opinions, and that was something I said in my 20s. But I think what I was meaning was, you know, when Lennon and McCartney came back from India, Lennon wrote, happiness is a warm gun. And Paul wrote, ooh, bloody, ooh, blah, da. You know what I mean? And who would you like to go and have a drink with? 